now we are here with Steve Tihani from uh, General Motors. He is the general director of branded entertainment, and James Bell, head of consumer affairs, uh, also for General Motors. How are you, Steve? How are you, James? Oh, Javier, we're great. Thank you. Doing great. Thanks. Thank you. First, Steve, uh, uh, we're talking here about the new movie Captain America, where, where the Corvette Stingray is uh, one of the stars. But uh, let me ask you first, um, I didn't know, and I guess a lot of our audience didn't either, uh, that uh, GM has this kind of position, because obviously the cars are always uh, on TV, on movies, on radio shows. Uh, can you talk, talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we spend a lot of time, you know, strategically looking at, you know, film, television, entertainment as a whole, and, you know, trying to really showcase our brands and products in the right way. So, you know, what we're trying to do there really is build opinion and consideration, and just a whole different audience interested in our products, and what I'll call, you know, really creating a love affair with our products, but doing it in a way that is very natural to storytelling, and getting them to embrace us in a different way. Yeah, and James, since you're in charge of the relationship with consumers, uh, consumers are getting information not only through movies, but and, and newspapers and radio shows, but also social media. So this is another way of uh, of uh, reaching them and, and, and tra transmitting your message, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's a great connection. You know, moviegoers are usually a little bit younger than uh, maybe uh, more, you know, uh, consumers of other media. So this is a great way to to establish a brand connection. And, you know, let's be honest, uh, this particular car, that, uh, the Corvette that's being used by Black Widow character in this film, this is a car you can go buy. Uh, for $60,000, you can walk into your uh, local Chevrolet store and piece together a vehicle just like the one that's used in the movie. There's nothing customer or, um, uh, you know, special about it, per se. It's, uh, it's a Z51, 50, uh, about $60,000, black on black on black. Uh, yeah, it, it just really does a nice connection there because that is it, the car by itself is a movie star. Uh, then you put it in the movie, and we have a great connection back to consumers that might uh, might be considering the Corvette, uh, you know, as, as a real true alternative to the traditional European sports uh, powerhouses from Porsche and Ferrari. Yeah, so we were talking about uh, the Black Widow, uh, Natasha Romanoff, the agent Natasha Romanoff, uh, port uh, played by Scarlett Johansson and uh, Corvette. So the uh, the movie Captain America starts uh, this Friday here in the United States, and but also it's a, a global movie. Like the the Corvette is a global car too, right, James? Hey, absolutely. I'm glad you bring that up. And yeah, this car was designed with. Uh, the uh, global marketplace in in position. I mean, it's it's a vehicle that means a lot to the Chevrolet brand, uh, not only to uh, you know for potential sales, but from a brand new perspective. I mean, the, the premise of, of Chevrolet, from my perspective, is to over deliver on something. In the case of the Corvette, it's over delivering on quite a few things with great performance and style and and fuel efficiency for uh, relative to what, to its class. So again, Chevrolet over delivers on uh, several key elements to consumers, but does it at a price that's very fair. Again, for sixty thousand dollars, in the case of uh, the Black Widow's vehicle, the fact that I can, uh, you know, really scare Porsches and Ferraris and uh, take them on and uh, race tracks around the country is a real testament to what Chevrolet is all about. Yeah, yeah James, to the, the to the point here of global. I mean, a lot of what we look at in film in particular today is very global in nature. So, um, you know, we, we've got activities uh, from our group in Mexico, from Brazil, from Chile, from, um, you know, uh, Indonesia. Like, yeah, we, we are starting to look at these things much more from a global lens than just, let's say, from a U.S.-centric lens. And, you know, the way we're developing some of these products, they fit very well on that global stage. So it's a great opportunity to marry it all together. Yeah. Uh, so, Steve, can you tell us a little bit what goes behind, like, filming this kind of uh, movies and, and the car? Like, I mean, how many cars are there? I mean, a little, some of the secrets behind it. I mean, as much as you can share, I guess. Yeah, well, 
well, you know, first of all, as an organization, I mean, you have to be prepared to supply the hardware, right? Um, you know, because especially when you see the film and you see some of these chase sequences, um, you know, for instance, on the Empower chase sequence that you'll see in the film, I mean, yeah, we needed a dozen different cars that we had to be able to provide the production for them to film the sequences they needed to film. And that's just one example. So, you know, you have to be prepared to support that. Uh, the other thing is, you know, for us, we use it as a, a marketing tool. So we build a marketing campaign around it. Um, you'll start seeing, because they started running, you know, some 30-second spots that we actually collaborated with the Russo brothers on, who actually directed the film. They directed our spot. We had a really fun um, uh, concept called Rich Imagination, where kids actually play the roles of the superheroes in our commercial. And uh, so, you know, things like that um, are, I think, what separates us from maybe some of the other things that are going on, because we're trying to make it very contextually relevant and, um, but be, you know, be authentic and really have a great collaborative spirit with the creative powers that be with the film. So it works on a lot of different levels. And at the end of the day, it's about relationships, and yeah. we build wonderful relationships, and we work very hard at that. Did all, did all the cars survive the, the Black Widow? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. In, in, in the Black Widow case, the car survived just splendidly. Um, in some of the other sequences, uh, yeah, there were some cars that uh, get uh, damaged a little bit, and you'll know exactly what I mean by that when you watch the film. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's something fun to look forward for the movie. Uh, uh, James, so the, the, the uh, Stingray has, been, uh, has won the North American Car of the Year Award, and now it's uh, up for the World Car of the Year Award, which is something uh, pretty special, and I don't think uh, GM has won uh, in, uh, I don't know, even the 10 years of the award has been on. Uh, is that some, something exciting yeah. too, right? Absolutely, yeah. We're going up against a Ferrari and the Porsche uh, 911 uh, GT3, I believe. Serious competition. Um, and when you think about what, what these awards are about, it's really about the impact and its marketplace. And uh, for that reason, I'm pretty bullish on the Corvette doing well in that uh, World Car of the Year because really, when you see some of the reviews that, you, that have come out around the world already on this car, uh, for the price, it is right there, if not exceeding, the performance of cars that are, you know, maybe three times as much. And yeah. that's, uh, you know, once upon a time, a Corvette was a car that you wanted, and the price is just, you know, it was kind of uh, one of the, the guiding reasons to buy the car, because it was a good, uh, inexpensive compared to the competition. Now the price is just a cherry on top. You take the car anyway, just based yeah. on its performance, uh, and, and the price just becomes, a, you know, an extra bonus. Well, well, good luck with that. Uh, I have to disclose that I'm a juror in that panel for the World Car of the Year Award, so I'm not going to say anything about that, but uh, good luck with that uh, in New York. <laughs> and, uh, thank you. I'll be looking for you in New York, Javier. Okay. Uh, thank you, Steve Tihani, General Motors General Director of Branded Entertainment, and James Bell, Head of Consumer Affairs, for uh, uh, talking about Captain America and the new Corvette Stingray. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks for having us. Thanks, sir. Bye-bye. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.